April Fools. <laughs> uh, Facebooker, sorry, I had complete and utter Facebook shut down. So no Facebook Live today, but I'll repost it. I think I can do that. Can I do that? Can I repost it? I can repost it, my producer said. Yes, okay guys. Well, good morning, sorry I'm um, three minutes late. Three's my lucky number. Woo, you can see the energy is back. Um, I must be in kytosis. Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, I'm feeling good today, I'm not foggy. Anyways, good morning, welcome to Kayaks and Caffeine, the caffeine-free version today. Um, this is this is a little ditty like, I like to say about anyone that wants to change the world one body at a time, whether you're in fitness, group fitness, personal training, strength coaching, own a studio, want to own a studio, want to get out of your job and try fitness as a career because it is the greatest career in the world because we're changing the world one body at a time. My energy is back and I, I'm not kidding you, no caffeine, zero, zero, I'm on day three. So let's recap. No, wait, first, happy April Fool's. I know uh, it's the first of the month and it's really intense right now, right? With uh, rent due and bills due and all that stuff. So I, um, I, uh, I feel you, I feel you, man. I'm with you on all of that, right? Take a deep breath. That's what I was doing all morning today. I got up at like uh, kind of in and out from 3.30 till six and I was all over the place. Anyways, so let me give you the quote today, the stoic quote today, and then we'll go into our prolong recap and then we'll answer a couple of questions I got from my two amazing coaches uh, out in California. Okay, oh, by the way, Detroit, oh, real quick. Happy birthday to my dad, he's 75 today. Anybody else celebrates a birthday today? Happy birthday, uh, Detroit, representing Detroit. My dad's in Detroit, um, I miss him, I love him, uh, and hope everyone's safe uh, and healthy in Detroit as well, all over the world. Okay, so Seneca, this is Seneca, the great Greek philosopher. Okay, we are more often frightened than hurt. We suffer more in imagination than in reality. It's a really good one, especially today with all these bills due and all this stuff happening on April 1st, oh my God, right? We, we are more often frightened than hurt. And we suffer more in imagination than we do in reality. Seneca, that is a great one. Good morning, you guys, good morning. Um, how are you, how are you? Welcome to Kayaks, the caffeine version. All right, so let's get to it. So prolong, this is day three, right? So yesterday, if you, if, you, if you watched, if not, you can watch it on my IGTV. Man, I was like cloudy and couldn't put my sentences together. And I think I went to bed around like eight o'clock last night. Um, but man, oh man, this is day three. I totally hit ketosis today. I'm 800 calories a day till Friday, no caffeine at all. And uh, today's menu, let me talk about today's menu, is the L bar, which is like this fat bar, tomato soup, this dried tomato soup, which looks like this. Woo wee, that's my lunch. I get some kale crackers, and then I have a minestrone soup, which looks like this, and I'm drinking my L drink all day, which is this uh, uh, special drink to keep the haze off, okay? So that's for today, 800 calories. I am down five pounds. Five pounds, y'all. Started Monday, Tuesday, so two days, down five pounds. Um, I am sleeping unbelievably. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, I hate tea. I hate tea, good morning, I can't stand tea. Uh, I can't wait till Saturday morning when I have a first cup of black coffee. But I'm telling you, this ketosis thing and the energy from fat is really white hot. I am feeling really good, hi father. Um, so anyways, so let me tell you what I've, got, I've gathered from this real quick and then we'll go into the questions and we'll get you out of here on your day. So here's what I've gathered. Remember I started three minutes late, so I get to go till 10.13 today. So here's what I've learned. I'm never gonna give up coffee. <laughs> but what I really learned is how important sleep is because I've been sleeping, never been sleeping as well as I have now. And how, how to portion control, right? I used to be an overeater big time and I think now more than ever, we're stuck at home. So when in doubt, we're either eating or uh, watching TV. Hopefully you're doing more than that, but if that's what you're doing, watching Netflix, and hopefully you're reading or trying to do something, uh, or learning something online, and trying something, failing big. Fail, 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 fail. Remember we talked about that last week. Failure, failure is the only way to success. But what I've learned is we don't need that much, y'all. You don't need to eat that much, right? Small meals every two hours, every three hours. And that's what I'm learning portion control. With this, this prolonged plan, that's the one thing I'm gonna take away. Um, is portion control. Uh, it's also all plant-based, so it's my first kind of uh, attempt at plant-based. Uh, this caffeine thing is really interesting because now I have no headache and I'm feeling pretty, pretty wide awake. Now I'm sure middle of the day I'll probably crash because I need more calories, but I know I was overeating and I wasn't getting enough sleep. So that's the two things I've learned from Prolong. So recap, coffee, caffeine headache is gone. 
tons of energy because I'm in ketosis. I'm down five pounds. I'm sleeping like a, like a log. And I'm pretty clear. I'm really clear in my head. So that's prolonged day three. Again, um, I'm not trying to sell it to you. Just trying to give you the truth, the yak about it. The yak of prolonged is, man, I'm really feeling good on it. Okay. So the question today comes from a, an amazing coach in uh, California. And she asks, uh, what do I talk about other than counting? This is a great question, you guys. Um, and especially now when we're seeing all these videos up, all these workout videos, everybody's doing a workout video and that's great. Be, be the inspiration the world needs by empowering others. Please, please, please put them up, post them up. We got movie stars posting videos. We got, we got, we got, we got moms and dads posting workout videos. We got, this is awesome, right? We got trainers and coaches posting videos. But here's the thing, guys. Her question is the, tr is the straight up truth. What do you talk about other than counting? You guys, everyone's just counting and do it like I do and follow me along. Guys, there still needs to be some connection. And here's the secret. It ain't about you. Boom! I said it. Right? It's not about you. This is the stuff we teach. We spend two days on this. Three days sometimes with some, some brands. It's not about you. It's about solving someone else's problem. Remember we talked about empowerment. It's about making them better than you. So how do you do that? What's the fastest way to connect with someone? Not counting. Not showing off your muscles. Look at me. I'm so ripped. I'm so hot. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, been there, done that. Guys, trust me, I've been there. I've been the guy who thought it was all about himself. And I'm embarrassed to say it, but it's true. And I've come out the other side and realized I was wrong. 100% wrong. The secret, and, I, and, I, and this is what we teach right now more than ever, guys. The secret to truly connecting, whether it's virtual or in the space, is through one idea. Story. Story. Make it personal when you're teaching. Have a beginning, middle, and end when you teach. Not just, hey guys, let's work out butt and abs. Go. One and two and four and eight and squeeze and hold. That's great. That's great. But that's not where we, what we need. Anybody can do a push-up, sit-up, and squat. It's not about you. So that's the first thing I would tell this young coach. It's not about you. Make it about them by creating a beginning, middle, and end in a story that brings them into the world that you're creating. Because I'm telling you, there's a big, I'm gonna do a whole series on this idea of how to create stories virtually soon. Um, keep, stay tuned for that, uh, on how to really do it right. But it's all about connecting and creating a story. Everything's a story, guys. Everything is a story. So when you're doing these videos, whether they're yeah, talking to the camera or doing a workout video, make it about story and have a beginning, middle, and end and make it personal. That's what we connect to, right? Think about your favorite coach, your favorite parent, or your favorite grandparent, or whatever, friend. They're always telling you stories. So then why don't we get online and we go, we're gonna squeeze, and we're gonna burn, and if you do this, you'll look like me. I don't wanna look like you, I wanna look like me. <laughs> That's what I want. Hi guys, hi, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning. So uh, I'm gonna end this now, because that's exactly 10.13. I love this question. Guys, you are not your stopwatch. You are not your muscles. You are so much more. So please, be in service of. If you're gonna create workout videos, have, make sure it has a beginning, middle, and end. And don't make it about the workout. Make it about truly connecting and helping someone through this time, through story. The, uh, the reason why I had such, such, such huge success in LA was that I, every class was a story for me. You know, regardless of my ego, I was having, there was times where my ego was, I was too big and this and that, and I, and, I, and I take full responsibility. I'm sorry if you met me when my ego was too big. Uh, don't worry, a, a humble pie, I ate a lot of it, so we're good now. But the secret though, even when I was at my worst or my best, I always made sure it was about stories and making sure that the main character of the story was you, the person in the class. Not me, look at me, you know, watch out for this idea, stop with that. Anyways, that's how I would attack that. Create a story, beginning, middle, and end. Every time you, you create a class, it is a story. Create a story, make it personal to you, and share it with them while you're getting the move. And watch how packed your class gets. Watch how many views you get on in IG. Watch. That's the idea today, guys. I appreciate you. Tomorrow is the prolonged day four. I, was, I should have tons of energy. I should be in pure, pure ketosis. 
Um, please send, keep sending your questions. These are great questions, you guys. And stay tuned. I have I'm working on a lot of big projects that I'm going to release soon. So stay tuned. I'll, I'll keep you all posted. Um, I love you. Hey, April Fools. Remember, we are often frightened. We are more often frightened than hurt. We, 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 and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Guys, follow your heart. I love you. Have a great day. Mwah.